Here is a very, uh, it's a classic example of an integral. And if you don't see this in your class at some point, I'd be very surprised. Anyways, uh, what are we going to do? Well, we've been talking about u sub. We've been talking about using the natural log to help us with u subs. And, or, or you know, maybe not help us, but a, a u sub that ends up in a natural log rule. And we're looking for a function and its derivative. Well, the derivative of x, if x is our function, the derivative is simply 1. We have a 1 here, but that doesn't take care of this natural log at all. That natural log will still be there. On the other hand, we have the natural log of x, and its derivative is 1 over x. And, and it, it looks like we, we have that there. Um, so this is just really a matter of how well do you know your fractions. So this, we can rewrite this integral as 1 over x times 1 over the natural log of x. And maybe now it's easier to see. The derivative of this is this. In fact, if we wanted to, we could even write it like this. These are all the same thing, just rewritten. We could write it as 1 over x over the natural log of x. So all three of these things are the same. Oops, maybe I should do it this way. They're the same. OK, so now with our new form, maybe we have a, a better idea of what to do. Let's go ahead and let u equal the natural log of x. Let me scroll down. So we'll just use this last one as our our example. And then du is equal to 1 over x dx. And now we can go ahead and proceed uh, and, and this is going to be really easy. So we'll have the integral 1 over x dx, that's going to be du. And then uh, the natural log, that's u. And now we have a very, very simple natural log rule. This is equal to the natural log of u plus c. And what is u? It's the natural log. So this is, turns out to be the natural log of the absolute value of the natural log of x plus c. I know it looks strange, but there it is. That's, that's our answer. Okay, see you in the next video.